What is up team? It has been a hot second since I've been on here. I think I'm pushing six months since I last posted a video, but I'm coming in hot and heavy with a boxing style to work out for you. That's very similar to one I did about a year ago. We're going to work on the bag for about 45 seconds. And then we're also going to pair it with a 45 second resistance strength style exercise. So what you need today is if you're using a bag, make sure you have your gloves. I'm not going to hand wrap because I'm going to slide in and out of the gloves to use my dumbbells. So just be mindful of that. If you don't have a bag, you can shadow box. You're just going to punch through the air and you're still going to get a great workout. I've got a couple sets of dumbbells. I've got 20s, 15s. I might roll out my 12s. Not too sure how I'm going to feel just yet, but grab what you need. Make sure you've got water. Put on a playlist. You can either follow one of mine. I've got many on Spotify and Apple Music or put on your favorite playlist and let's get ready to work. All right, I've got music playing in my ear. I've got the timer set up, so I'll give you those cues. If you want to hit start on your watch and your music, we are going to start with a warm up. So I'm going to go with a left lead forward for this warm up. We're just going to get the body warm with some straight out jabs. Okay, throwing those jabs, thinking rotate, palms face the ground, and I want you to give me big power. So for now, we're not on the bag, we're just shadow boxing, and this can be the option that you take today if you don't have a bag, or you don't feel like using the bag, you just want to punch the air, do what you can. We're going to go for four more, nice big power, extend through the arm, last two. Last one, same thing on that crossing arm. You're gonna cross it out, cross. It's essentially the same punch. We're aiming right at our opponent's nose, right through the face, still rotating, palms face the ground, and I'm pulling that hand right back towards me. Punch. Good, we got three more. Three, two, pivot on that back foot. Give me the jab crosses together. Jab and cross. Okay, your tempo, you can always take it into a jab, cross, and pause, jab, cross, and pause. I like to sometimes just keep it flowing in my warm-up, get that body nice and warm. Okay, we're going to take it into a front hook. I want you to give me a hook on the front side. So when you're on the bag, you're thinking side of the bag. Follow through with that elbow, nice pivot up onto that toe. Three more, two and one, same thing on your rear side. So my right leg is back, that's my rear side. When my front leg, left leg is forward, that's my front side. Driving through that back foot again, adding that pivot if it feels good. Last three, two, and one. Give me front and rear. Okay, nice and controlled here. I don't want you to lose control with the hooks. Think you're sliding across the top of a shelf, aiming for that opposite shoulder, and palm can face the ground, or they can face you. I want you to take what feels good through the shoulders. When we're on that bag, we're going side of the bag, side of the cheek. Three, two, and one. Front side uppercut, okay? Because I'm gonna be on the bag today, I'm gonna aim more at the hip level. I'm thinking flex my bicep and push up, out, and away. So I'm not winding up back here. It's not this, I'm coming right from the hip. Up, up. Okay, if you're off the bag, you can take your uppercuts more at the chin, and that's what you can use today. On the bag, a little bit lower. Opposite hand up by your face. Three, two, good. Give me that rear side uppercut. Drive through that back leg. Okay, so we're clear. We got a front lead, we got a rear lead. I'll guide you with which one you're gonna work today. Drive. Last three, two, and one, you're gonna be front and rear uppercuts. Okay, these are your basic punches we're gonna stick with. I might throw in some back hands. We'll talk about that later. But we're gonna combine all of this. We got a little bit of kicking rear knees, so let's come through those hip rotations. We're gonna step up and over, back out in front. Step up and over, back out in front. Loosening up those hips. Drive in that knee, up towards the chest. Stepping back and behind. Okay, want those hips to feel nice and loose so that when we add that kick, you're ready to go. We've got four more. Last three, two, and one. 
your work. You're gonna give me those king squats. So hands at your head. You're gonna squat down, then you're gonna give me good mornings. Hinging forward. So I'm squatting and I'm hinging forward. So your squat is a nice bend in the knees. Your hinge is a lead with the chest. Tuck the hips up underneath. Squat to hinge. Nice bend in those knees. Squeeze those glutes. Let's do three more because it feels really good. Last two. And then we are going to roll into your first circuit. Hopefully you're feeling warm. If not, last one, you will. All right, come all the way up if you need to grab water, towel, anything else. Grab it now because we are going into circuit number one. All right, I've got my dumbbell here for my resistance exercise. I've got my bag ready. So I'm going to show you the shadow box version. Stick with that, and then I'm going to go into the bag for the circuit. Okay, so we're going to take a left lead first. We are going to hit both sides today. Left lead first. You're going to give me a jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Okay, so I throw my first jab, relax, jab, jab, cross. Okay, we're just going to kind of make it into more of a combo here. Taking that second to reset, and then two quick power jabs, one power cross, okay? Then we're gonna come off the bag. We go, got a 10 second transition, so you can slide under your gloves. You're gonna give me four plank jacks, hands over top of the dumbbell. You're gonna give me one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna pull the dumbbell through. I'm gonna go for four plank jacks, either stepping it out or jumping it out, and then pulling the dumbbell through, opposite arm pulling across. Okay, we'll come back, hit that combo, right lead, and then we'll do another round of resistance. That's going to be your full template for today. Left lead, resistance, right lead, resistance. Grab what you need. I've got a slight countdown just to get a setup. I'm going to slide into my gloves. Left lead goes forward, a jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. All right, if you need to pause, take extra time, just take it. We go in five seconds, four, three, Two, here we go. You're giving me a jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Okay? Jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Now, I don't have a cable on the bottom of my bag, so I might have to adjust. I'm going to have to react to my bag a little bit. You might start swinging. Jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. So you just keep going. If you're off the bag, I just want you throwing those punches right out in front. Rotate, palms face the ground. Find those pivots in your feet. It's jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. I'm going to slide out of my gloves. I got 10 seconds to transition. Four plank jacks, one plank uh, dumbbell pull through. We go in three, two, and one. Four plank jacks. Jump it out, or option to step it. So I just tap to the side for four total, two on each side, and then pull that dumbbell through. Getting that core nice and warm. And then I'm trying to avoid rotating my torso when I'm pulling that dumbbell through. Four plank jacks. Oh, we got 15 seconds. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Core is engaged. Four plank jacks. We got this. Good, we're back up. 10 seconds. If you need your gloves, grab them now. Right lead forward, jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Here we go. Jab, pause, jab, jab, cross. Jab, pause. Remember, it's gonna be right, pause, Right, right, left. We got to even it out. Work on that other side. See if you can find those pivots. Right up onto your toes. Jab, pause. Jab, jab, cross. Yes. See if you can connect with that breath. I want you to put that target on the bag. It might be a person. It might be something. Use it to power you through. Ten seconds. Jab. Pause, jab, jab, cross. Three, two, and one. Nice work, 10 seconds. Last round of plank jacks. Dumbbell pull through, and we'll take a break. 
We go in four, three, two, here we go. Four plank jacks. Stepping, jumping, pull that dumbbell through. Bring it in, it's four, three, two, one, pull through. Four, three, two, one. You got it. I take my feet out nice and wide, hold that wide plank, then my hips aren't gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna rotate. Good. Woo. 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, pull it. Less than 10. Good, relax there. Woo. Arms are feeling spicy. Grab some water, my hair is crazy. And we're moving into circuit. Number two. Okay, we are into circuit number two. I've got my one dumbbell. I'm going to use a 20. I might go up just a little bit, but we'll see. A 20 for your resistance. You only need one or whatever you have, okay? And then we're going to work your next circuit. So it's going to be two front hooks, one rear cross. Left lead goes forward. Two front hooks, one power cross. Remember your hooks, nice bend in the elbow. Power through your cross, nice extension. Rotate on that back foot, okay? Nice simple combos right now. We're gonna build on them. Then you're gonna step out in front of your mat, okay, because we're gonna add a surrender. So it's gonna be a two pulse squat. I come up, I'm gonna surrender down, down, up, up. I come all the way up. I'm gonna pulse for two squats. I'm gonna lead with my right leg first. In the next round, I'll lead with my left, okay? So that's what we have to look forward to. Grab water if you need it. If you need to pause, pause. We've got a five second countdown. Left lead first, two front hooks, one cross. We go in five. Left lead, three, two, here we go. Two hooks, one cross. Hook, hook, cross. Now my hooks might be where I'm going to have to readjust. Okay, so we don't have to match. This is 45 seconds, your tempo. You might have to adjust to your bag if you're using it. If you're shadow boxing, you've got a little bit more control on how many rounds you're gonna do because you don't have a bag swinging, flying around. You're aiming for the side of the leg on those hooks, big power cross. Hook, hook, cross. Two hooks on the left, one cross on the right. Hook, hook, cross. Good, five seconds. And one good work, okay. We come into your squat, two pulse, with a surrender. Goblet, goblet hold. Here we go. Two squats, pulse it for two, and give me those surrenders. Now your resistance round is about control. Two pulses, up, surrender it down. Nobody likes surrenders. I put them here, near the front end of your workout, so that we're not ending with them. You can also do this without resistance, okay? If the surrenders aren't happening for you today, give me two pulse squats into stand. Take the surrender out. Whew. We've got 10 seconds. Two pulses, one surrender. Two pulse, one surrender. Good, drop that weight safely. Right lead, two front hooks. One rear cross in three, two, let's go. Hook, hook, cross. Hook, hook, cross. I've got to react. Two hooks, one cross. Aiming for the side of that bag. Hook, hook, cross. I want you to take control. Hook, hook, cross. Two power hooks. Big power cross. Side of the cheek, right through the face. Hook, hook, cross. You got this. Keep that right lead forward. 15 seconds. Hook, hook, cross. Hook, hook, cross. 10. Hook, hook, cross. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay. We got two pulses. Surrender. Leading with that opposite leg. Or take the surrender out. 3, 2, here we go. Two pulse squat. 
and then I surrender down. I feel like I'm good with this weight. If I would have went up, I don't think I could talk. Two pulse squat, one surrender. Go where you need, okay? Lighten up, or you can go up in resistance. This is your level of hard. Remember the option, take the surrender out, and give me two pulse squat to stand. You've got this. These are quality reps, so we're not rushing them. Quality over quantity, less than 10, two pulse. Surrender, up, whoo, yes, relax there, oh, just in time. All right, grab water, towel off, circuit three, coming in high. Okay, circuit three. You actually don't need any extra equipment this round, so I'm just going to push my dumbbell out of the way. You're going to think of your second round not necessarily a hit, but we're going to work those legs with some knees and some kicks. First and foremost, your circuit is left lead forward. You're going to give me a rear uppercut, big cross, two backhands. Backhands are pinky side, swinging from my opposite shoulder, like I'm trying to slice the bag in half or whack my opponent across the face. Pinky side leads. When you're on the bag, you're going to whack, pinky side, palms facing down. So it's rear upper. Cross, two, backhands. Left lead first. Then, left leg will lead. You're gonna give me a left knee, left kick. Left knee, left kick, okay? So I pull my knee, I tap down, and then I kick out to the side. You can start low, down here, or if you've got that flexibility in the hips, you can come up a little bit higher. We're not kicking the bag. We're just gonna do it off the bag. Unless, of course, you wanna do the bag. Totally go for it. I'm gonna stay here just so that I can face you, show you, set the tempo, okay? Gloves on, rear uppercut from the right side because our left leg is forward, cross on the right side, and then two power backhands. We go in five seconds, get yourself set. Not a true five. Four, three, two, here we go. Two uppercuts, cross, two backhands. Sorry, uppercut, cross, Backhand, backhand, I lied. One upper, cross, backhand, backhand. Rear upper, cross, backhand, backhand. Rear side uppercut, cross, backhand, pinky side. Up, cross, backhand, backhand. Those backhands make me feel like a badass on the bag. We're taking that uppercut through the gut. Cross right through the face, backhand, backhand. Off the bag, you're thinking uppercuts through the chin. Face, backhand, backhand, pinky side leading. Seven seconds, up, cross. This is it. Ditch those gloves unless you want to keep them on. You're going to give me left leg, knee, kick. We go in three, two, here we go. Knee it, kick to the side. Rear knee and kick. I'm leading with my toe on that kick. Okay, so I'm pointing my toe, rear knee, kick. You can take that kick as high as you want. Remember, you can come low, so you can practice that kick first, work your way up, and then when you're ready, as high as you can go. Rear knee, kick. Oh, that left oblique should be speaking to you. 15 seconds, knee, kick. 10 seconds, pull those hands, top of the thigh, as you knee it. Four, three, two, and relax there, okay. Gloves back on if you're using them. Rear upper, cross, two back hands on the right side. Go in three, two, and one. We go upper, cross, two back hands. Upper, cross, two back hands. Rear side upper, rear side cross. Back hands for two, slice that bag in half. On your back head. Up, cross, back hand, back head. Gloves up. I know I'm facing away, but you got this. Rear side upper, cross, two front back heads. Left arms to start on those two first punches. Up, cross, back hand, back head. Seven seconds. Two, and one, nice work. 
work, okay? Right leg, rear knee, side kick. We go in three, two, right leg. I rear knee, I kick, reset. Knee and kick. This is your tempo. I'm taking that reset in between, so I'm giving myself good quality kicks. Knee, kick. You get more out of it when you keep good form. Knee, kick. I don't want you flailing all over the place. Pull that knee, kick to the side. Give me some power through that leg. Remember, start low and then you can add some height. 10 seconds. We got knee, kick, knee, kick. Three, two, and one, nice work. Woo, that was a good one, okay. Grab water, towel off. We're going into circuit number four. Okay, circuit number four. We are cruising along. Okay, this is where things get a little spicy. We're gonna add on some combo. So I'm gonna stay off the bag this round. You're more than welcome to use the bag, but just so I can cue you a little bit better, I'm gonna shadow box. So left lean forward. I'm gonna slip forward. So lean forward towards my front leg. I'm gonna roll away. Think of it like a rolling squat to the back. I'm gonna go rear hook, two front uppers, one rear cross, okay? So it's slip, roll, rear hook, two uppers, one cross. Okay, I'm gonna guide you through it. Yes, it's complex, you got this. I got my mat here, I'm gonna take it to the ground. Ooh, sorry, that was loud. Left lead goes forward, just like we have been. Right arm is gonna work. I'm gonna go into a upright row into a snatch. So I'm gonna upright row one, and then I'm gonna snatch the weight up overhead. Upright row on one, snatch the weight up overhead. Pick a weight that you feel comfortable with. I want you to think yes in shoulders, but we're pushing through those hips. And then I'm gonna put my mat over here just so that you can see the right lead. The left lead, but the right lead. Okay, we are gonna get rolling. Left lead out in front, reminder, slip, roll, rear hook. Up, up on the front, cross on the rear. Put your gloves on if you're going on that bag. We go in five seconds. Four, three, two, left lead, we slip forward. We roll back, rear hook, two front uppers, one rear cross, slip, roll, hook on the rear, two front uppercuts, and cross, slip, roll, hook, uppers for two, cross for one, slip forward, roll back, rear side hook, uppers for two on the front, cross, here we go, you've got this, you've got it, hook, up, up, cross, Here's the deal, I'm gonna do left lead off the bag, but I'm gonna do it on the bag in the next round. Hook, up, up for two, cross, slip, roll, hook, uppercut, uppercut, and cross, okay? Left lead, or left, left leg goes forward, right leg on the mat, right arm working. Three, two, upright row. So I go upright row, lead with my elbow, and snatch. Okay, so upright row, snatch that dumbbell up overhead, upright. I'm kind of turning towards you so you can see it. Upright, snatch. On that snatch, I want you to use your hips to bring that weight up overhead. If you need to take a break, just take it. Like I said, we're getting spicy. So if your shoulders are really feeling it, drop down in resistance, or take a breather, less than 10, upright, snatch, good, and relax there, 10 second breather, I'm going to get my gloves on, right lead forward, we slip forward on the right leg, two, and one, I slip, I roll back, rear hook, up, up, sorry, I messed that up, so we slip, we roll, rear side hook, up, up, cross, okay? Slip forward, roll back, rear hook, up, up, and cross. Front slip, roll back, rear hook. Two uppercuts on the front, cross on the rear. So I slip forward, I roll back, up, up, sorry, hook, up, up, cross. 
across. Guys, this is what happens when we're live. Guess we're not really live. Hook. Up, up, and cross. Slip forward. Roll back. Rear side hook. Up, up, and cross. Slip. Roll. Hook for one on the rear. Up, up, and cross. Okay. We're coming down. Grab that weight. Grab that mat. Right leg forward. Left leg back. Here we go. Left arm. Upright row. Snatch. Upright row. And snatch. You got this. Upright. Snatch. I'm going to face you. Upright. Snatch it. So yes, your arm is working. Your shoulder's working. Can you pull focus to the core? To those glutes? To help you bring that weight up. Upright row. Snatch. Okay, 10 seconds. You've got this. Upright row. Snatch. Two. And one. Whoo! Nice work. Circuit four. In the books, you've got two left. That's it. Grab water, towel off. Let's get going. Okay. Circuit five. I'm going to go on the bag for this one because I'm going to add a front side kick and I like to do them on the bag, but again, you do not have to be using a bag here. So left leg forward. You're going to give me a front knee, left leg, front kick. So I'm going to wrap my shoe around the bag, but think wrap your shoe around your opponent's ankle, shin, hip, head, as high as you can bring it. So it's knee, kick. you got a rear uppercut, a rear cross, a rear knee. Whoa. So it's front knee, kick. Up, cross, knee. Okay, we're getting a little bit more complex. Take a moment, rewind it if you need. Rewind. What is this, a VHS? Rewind and just get used to the combo. Join in when you're ready. We're gonna add on with this, with your resistance. I've got my two heavies, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna take my left lead forward, split stance. Forward leaning lunge, so I'm leaning forward a little bit and then I'm going to hinge forward, okay? So it's a forward leaning lunge, and then I'm going to hinge. My back right leg is just there as a kickstand, okay? We're gonna do that once on the left, once on the right. Follow with me. I'm gonna swing my weights over here so that my left lead is ready to rock. Okay, team, slide into those gloves if you're using them. Reminder of your combo, you're giving me a front knee, front kick, Give me a rear upper, cross, rear knee. You've got this. Stay calm, focused. You've got lots of time to catch it. We go in five seconds. Get that left lead forward. Three, two, give me a front knee. Front knee, kick, rear uppercut, cross, rear knee. Reset, front knee, kick, rear up, rear cross, rear knee. My rear knees and my front knees don't make contact with the bag. I'm just marking it out. So I'm going front knee, kick, rear upper, cross, rear knee. Reset, front knee, kick, rear up, cross, rear knee. Whoo, that core, front knee, kick it, up, cross, rear knee. Reset, front knee, kick, up, cross, rear knee. Less than 10, front knee, kick, uppercut, cross, rear knee. One more front knee kick and relax, okay? Gloves come off. Left lead forward, hold those dumbbells. Right leg back. We go in three, two, forward leaning lunge. So I lunge forward, lean forward a little bit. Lunge and now I'm hinging at the hip. Oh, your glutes gonna love me. Front leaning, lunge, forward hinge, okay? Lunge, there's a slight lean forward in your lunge. So we get the back side of the leg a little bit more. And then a true hinge right there. Whew, that back right leg is just there for support. You've got 14 seconds. Hinge. Lunge it. Press up. Hinge it. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Take that one. We're back on that bag. Right lead. Knee kick, rear upper cross, rear knee in two and one. Rear knee or front knee on the right, kick on the right. 
uppercut cross on the left, knee on the left. Front knee, kick, up cross on the rear, rear knee. Front knee, kick it, up cross, rear knee, reset it. Front knee, give me that front kick, up cross, rear knee, reset. Front knee, kick, up cross, rear knee. Really think of your core engaging on those knees. Nice work, we got a front knee, we got a front kick. Rear up, rear cross, knee, front knee, kick, up, cross, rear knee, front kick, right here, good, relax. We got that right lead forward. Who we got it forward, leaning lunge, and a hinge. We go in two and one, lean forward, lunge it, come up, now hinge it. Oh yeah, so your lunge is more of a bend in the knee. Your hinge happens at the hip. Lead with the chest. This is a forward leaning lunge. It's a forward leaning hinge. Drive up. Oh, this right glute is angry. The good news is, we've only got a few seconds left of this circuit, and you've got one left. We're feeling sweaty. We're feeling like we're working. We're almost there. Forward leaning lunge. We got a hinge. Pull my glute. Good, relax there. Oh yes, okay. Grab water, towel off. Take a moment to breathe. Let's do your last and final circuit of the day. Welcome to circuit six. This is it, your finale. We still have a left and a right lead. We still have two resistance rounds. All right, so left lead first. You're gonna give me a front hook, front backhand, rear hook, rear uppercut, okay? So front hook, backhand, pinky side contacting your opponent or the bag, rear hook, rear uppercut. Okay, so just think two hits on the front, two hits on the rear. We'll go over that just a little bit more. Then your uh, resistance, I'm gonna grab one dumbbell. I'm gonna go find a heavier one, see how it goes. I'm gonna go two bent over rows, clean, into a squat, so it looks like this. I'm gonna keep my feet side by side, hinge at the hips. I'm gonna row for two to my left hip. I'm gonna clean it to my shoulder, and I'm gonna squat. So think of a clean, almost like a power bicep curl, and I'm loading it up at my shoulder, I'm gonna squat. I'm only gonna do it on my left arm for the first round, and then we'll do it right arm in the second round. So make sure you have a weight that you feel comfortable using. I'm gonna go on the bag. So again, your combo is Front hook, backhand, rear hook, rear uppercut. This one's my favorite. This one's fun. One more round of backhands. Slide into your gloves. Make sure you've got a dumbbell. We go in five seconds. Three, two, let's go. Front hook, backhand, rear hook, rear upper. Left hook, left backhand, rear hook, rear upper. Hook, backhand, hook up. Hook, backhand, hook, up. Look for those line marks. Side of the face, slice the bag. Side of the face, right through the gut. Hook, backhand, hook, upper. Remember your upper cuts off the bag are more at chin level. Hook, backhand, hook, upper. Hook, backhand, hook, upper. Hook, backhand, hook, upper cut. You got less than 10. We're good. Slide out of those gloves. Grab your dumbbell. Left arm holding. I'm losing my hair here. <laughs> Left arm. Two bent over rows. Clean squat. In three, two. Here we go. Hinge forward. Row for two. I'm going to clean it to my shoulder. And I'm going to squat. Oh yeah. Hinge forward. Row for two. I'm going to clean it. Use the power of my glutes. And then I squat. I'm going to hinge. Row for two. Clean it up and squat. It's really gonna make your core work, especially if you're going heavy. We got one side with a little bit more resistance. Hinge forward, nice flat back on that hinge and squat. Forward folding, two rows. Clean it, squat it. Whoo! 
Finish off what you have. Good, relax there. Oh, we're back on the bay. Last round of boxing. Front hook, backhand. Rear upper, sorry, rear hook, rear upper. Here we go. Front hook, backhand, rear hook, rear upper. Front hook, backhand, rear hook, rear upper. Backhand, hook up your head. Start that front hook, backhand that bag. Backhand that opponent, hook, backhand, hook, upper, hook, backhand, hook, upper. 20 seconds, team. All you got left, because we are in the last round for the day. Stretch is coming. Hook, backhand, hook, upper, hook, backhand, hook, upper. Three, two, and one. Good. Ah, last round of resistance. I almost knocked myself over. Right arm, two rows, clean squat. In three, two, here we go, feet side by side, hinge, row for two. Clean it to the right shoulder and squat down. Whew. I'm gonna take my left arm for balance out to the side, row, clean it. Remember that clean, we are using the power of your glutes, power through the core, it's not the arm. So you can give yourself a little bit more resistance. Pull that dumbbell to your hip on the row. Not the chest. Hinge. Two rows. Oh yes, one clean. 10 seconds. Four, three, finish it off. Two, and one, nice work. Grab water, towel off, whatever you need. We are gonna hit your cool down. Just stop that timer. We're gonna hit your cool down. So take a breath. You did it. Okay, nice work team. I've got a mat just because we might come down to the floor here. Take a breather. Give me a few shoulder rolls, okay? Keep your chest up tall and proud. We don't want a forward fold just yet. We've got a high heart rate. We don't need to get lightheaded. We're gonna start with the arms. I want you to take both hands back and behind you, interlace the fingers. Now don't arch the back, tuck the hips up underneath and open through the chest from there. Okay, keep that core engaged here. I don't want you arching too much so that you're going to feel it in your low back. I want you to open through front side body, your chest, your shoulders. Breathe. Nice work today. That was a total body workout. Now, interlace those hands out in front. Round the back, drop the chin towards your chest. Separate your shoulder blades. Hopefully you've got some cool down music on. If you're not listening to something too crazy, bring yourself back down. Relax. Good, release the arms. I'm gonna face you, I'm gonna take my right arm up and across my chest, give it a nice pull. And if you're still feeling really warm, like the heart rate's really high, even like a light tap side to side is good. Keep moving if you need. Let the heart rate come down with control. Don't let it just drop. Good, switch it out, other side, give it a pull. It's my favorite way to work. I love boxing, it's a great cardio strength feel, but we add some extra resistance with those strength rounds. You crushed it. The best of both worlds. So I like to call strength cardio. My ultimate all-time favorite workout. All right, let's come down to those legs. So if you need balance from the wall, take it. You're gonna grab hold of your foot. Knees together, hips forward. If you'd like to come down to the ground for this stretch, the version is lying on the side, pulling that knee, sorry, pulling that foot to your glute. And you get to just kind of lounge, but just make sure you're pushing your hips forward. Knees are still in line. And just breathe. This actually feels great. I think I'm going to just stay here. If you're still standing, that's great. Don't worry. I'm going to bring you down right away anyway. All right, just switch out your legs. I'm going to swing this way, so I'm going to give you my backside. Same thing, knees together, hips forward. If you're on the mat, just like you're lying at the beach, I wish. Knees for or knees together, hip forward, so you really feel that quad. And just relax. Nice job today. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube page. Look for more videos. I'm hoping to do videos on a monthly basis. Let's just relax there. I'm gonna come up into seated. You're gonna take your legs straight out in front of you. You can join me if you're standing. Take a deep breath, inhale. 
On the exhale, forward fold, lead with the chest first, so get those hamstrings stretched. I'm not all the way down just yet. And then if you feel like you want to take it more into your low back, now round, and you can reach a little bit further. Whatever you need today, maybe you want to stay upright, maybe you want hamstrings, maybe you're feeling some tightness in your back, then round into it a little bit. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram under Fallon Fuel Fitness. And I just recently started a podcast. When I say just recently, I mean yesterday. Uh, you can find it on Spotify, Fallon Fueled Fun. Do you like that I played on my name for both things? And yeah, let me know what you want to see on here. What other workouts? Drive the soles of the feet together. An inch forward a little bit. Inner thighs. We do strength. We do cardio. I've got bar. We can do anything you want. I'm not a yogi. But stay tuned. And you'll see on Instagram, if you follow me there, I'll post on there about what's to come. Whew. All right, I'm going to face you. We're just going to end with three breaths. So sitting up nice and tall, take a deep breath, inhale. If you need more of a stretch, definitely just take what you need. Let's do two more breaths. Release it out. Go one more here. Nice big inhale, reach. Exhale, let it all go. Thank you so much for being here. Any questions at all, I want you to reach out to me on Instagram. Okay, subscribe, like this video, and I can't wait to see you again. Thanks for being here.